what happens is yeah. that um, uh, Washington, although as time goes on, it's clear that his sympathies are much more with the Federalists than with the mm -hmm. Republicans or Jeffersonians uh, at the time. But Washington was a very good president in terms of encouraging a free interplay of ideas within the, uh, the, uh, the, the government. And so he genuinely wants different uh, voices. He uses the same uh, style of governance, actually, that he uses in general in terms of canvassing opinion. Mm -hmm. He would ask people and then he would kind of very uh, slowly ponder. You know, Hamilton <laughs> said he uh, ponders slowly. What was the line? Ponders slowly, ponders surely. Yeah. Uh, and that was uh, Washington's uh, style. And even when uh, Hamilton and Jefferson starts feuding, instead of wanting a unified or monolithic voice whose administration, um, he does want to have these differences of opinion mm -hmm. going on. He's very, you know, upset um, by the feud, and he's very upset when Jefferson uh, leaves. You know, a modern president might uh, react and say, he's not a member of the team, mm -hmm. and we have to get uh, rid of him. He's not sympathetic mm -hmm. with it. And Washington was able to tolerate really quite a, a significant degree of mm -hmm. dissent from within his own administration. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that what happens, on the one hand, um, Madison fairly quickly uh, um, with the new government goes from being a trusted advisor uh, to Washington on political and constitutional questions it goes to being a, an apostate uh, and mm -hmm. begins to make speeches attacking Hamilton's uh, financial system. So it's really um, uh, Madison who begins to exile himself mm -hmm. from Washington's affection. It was very Madison who was initiating that, not mm -hmm. uh, uh, Washington. Um, so Washington starts feeling a sense of betrayal with, with Madison. And then again, Washington doesn't uh, realize at first the extent to which Jefferson, the Secretary of State, is helping to orchestrate a lot of the congressional mm. and press attacks on the administration. But again, it's Jefferson who is pulling away from mm -hmm. Washington. It's not Washington who is pushing him. Mm -hmm. Away. And also, I think that one reason that um, Washington and um, Hamilton uh, become so extraordinarily close is that um, Hamilton showed extraordinary loyalty to Washington. Um, um, was never scheming against Washington uh, behind his back, and Hamilton could scheme, but not against not against Washington. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Washington never had uh, cause to uh, doubt the personal and political loyalty of Alexander Hamilton right up till the day that he, that he died. It was an um, extraordinarily yeah. uh, good relationship. And uh, Washington um, ended up feeling quite bitter towards Madison yeah. and Jefferson really didn't speak to them the last few years of his uh, life. And I was very struck when I came upon the story when I was doing the biography of uh, when Jefferson visited Mount Vernon Mm. after Washington died and Martha Washington said it was the second worst day of her life, the first day being when, when her husband died, but it's a very, very strong uh, uh, statement.